be here and to be the uh, postmaster of Camden. Uh, I started my career 20 years ago as a PTF clerk in Jay, Maine, never realizing where it would end up. I've been to the county, I've been down to the coast, I've been into the mountains, but now I'm home. <laughs> this is where my wife and our family is going to settle and we're going to stay, continue to serve. I was blessed with my job previous to this to come to Camden on a couple of occasions to view the office, to view the employees. After seeing the work ethic that they demonstrated, I knew that this would be a good place to come to work with people who are also spirit-minded about taking care of their community. I'd like to thank you all for coming here today because it does mean a lot to me to be recognized by my friends and my co-workers to be here. The United States Postal Service, exactly what it is, is service. But when you look around us, we can't lose sight of the fact that today is May the 16th. It's Memorial Armed Forces Day today. Right behind us, there's over 1,100 names of the citizens of Camden that have served in the military. They've done service. We all do service, whether we're in the military, the postal service, or doing God service, community service. We all have a purpose. We all get up and we all do a job, and we do these jobs to the best of our ability. The reason I feel Camden is a good fit for me is because I'm a Norman Rockwell fan. I love the Americana spirit. Camden has that spirit. When the post office decided that they wanted to move the downtown out and have the post office go away, the citizens said no. It meant too much to them. And they spearheaded and led a very successful campaign to keep the Camden post office together. Mr. Parker Lake was one of the primary drivers behind it, leading it. And I thank him every day for the opportunity to continue to work with this building. I am the steward of the building. I'll only be here probably for a short time. I could be here for a long time. You never know with the Postal Service where they're going to call and send us. But as long as I'm here, I'm going to defend and protect and upgrade our building for our town because it is history. In 1913, when this building opened up, they only opened 33 post offices that year. We are a full on building. In 1985, this building was placed on the National Historic Register. So, we have a lot of pride in it. When I took on the job, I didn't know how much work was going to be involved. So, like a good analyst that I was at the district, I started analyzing numbers and figuring out about Camden. Do you realize that in a year, we deliver 1,192,212 customers served in our town. Our carriers drive 43,000 plus miles a year here. And those carriers that walk, walk over 10,800 miles, serving you every day in Camden. We were incorporated as a town in 1791, and the post office incorporated in 1795. I have the honor of being the 31st postmaster here in Camden. And I thank everybody for that, for coming out. One of the things that I liked about this town was the eclecticness and the people. From the minute I walked into the town, I felt welcome. One thing that's very nice for me is right across the street at the French and Braun is a Livermore Falls High School Andy graduate. So if I want to talk old high school type of thing, I can, you know, reach out to Sarah. My son, who is unfortunately not able to be with me today, he was a chef on the Louis R. French. Sailed with Captain Dan and his wife for a summer. So I got to come to Camden often when they were in port so I could see him and take in the cities. My mother actually performed a wedding in town here once. So Camden has been a home spot for me before I ever got here. But for those of you that are still getting to know me, and my wife Nancy, my daughter Stephanie is here, and my son Paul. My other son Scott is unavailable. He's in Seattle. He's got a tough job working for Bill Gates Foundation out there. We get to see him occasionally. So thank everybody for coming and celebrating this with us, uh, my family. And I appreciate everybody being here and looking forward to uh, being here for a long time. Thank you.